In the previous videos, we have discussed some of the basics of how to write simple programs, but we haven't gone in depth on how to run them or what that means behind the scenes. To run the program in CLion, you just click the green play button in the upper right hand corner. This actually triggers two separate processes. First, the code is compiled, which converts it into a binary executable file that the computer can actually read. Then, CLion runs the file that was generated by the compiler. The compiler for C++ is called G++ and can also be run from the Linux terminal. G++ takes the name of the C++ file to compile and will output the compiled exe file to a.exe unless you specify a name for the output file by passing the dash "-o", argument. The next step is to run the executable file. This can be done by typing dot slash followed by the name of the file. Now that we've talked about running code, let's talk about breaking it. Errors can show up during either of the two steps in the process, and are called compilation errors and runtime errors, respectively. Let's watch what happens when I remove this semicolon. The compiler will print out an explanation of what the error was and what line it occurred on. Because compilation errors will always prevent the file from being compiled, it is relatively easy to discover and fix them. Runtime errors, on the other hand, may only occur when specific conditions are met. A simple example of a runtime error is a division by zero. For the sake of demonstration, I'm hardcoding a zero here, but ordinarily runtime errors are caused by a variable being set to a bad value from some external circumstances. In this case, when we try to run the program, it outputs nothing instead of the second print statement that we would expect. This is because the division by zero caused a runtime error which ended the execution of the file. To summarize, 1. Programs are first compiled from C++ to a binary executable format that computers understand, then run from the newly generated file, and 2. Errors can occur during both steps of the process and are called compilation errors if they occur at compile time, and runtime errors if they occur when running the program.